Today I'm going to show you my second uh, crossing experiment. This time I choose um, Sin Expanus and Bruni. Choose Bruni is because it's a pretty color flowers and also the fragrance of the fruit. And for Sin Expanus is for his uh, very dark red uh, fruit um, flush. And for the interesting feature of this branch, it called a thornless. It's not really no thongs, but uh, it's very, very tiny, tiny thongs. So I think it's an interesting feature. Uh, you can follow the branch when you do the craft graftment. And um, this time I have two, two uh, different crossings. This one is using a Spanish flower pollinated by Bruni pollen. And uh, this one is. Um, Bruni flower pollinated by Sin Espanis pollen. So it's kind of love switch the the parent. Want to see um, if the father and mother switch position have any effect on the offspring. And uh, from here, very early one, you can see the this grafted uh, grafted on um, May twentieth. Today is June tenth. So it's about the 20 days, and you can you already see it clear uh, growth. Yeah, these pictures were taken on um, May 29th. So 10 days, you can see a clear growth on this particular one. So it's already taken, and also also there. So this one is seen expanded in mother Rooney's father. You can see the the offspring has a lot of songs. So the song is feature didn't show on these babies. And also this is a Sin Espanis as father and Bruni is mother. So Sin Espanis pollen pollinated the Bruni fruit, a Bruni flower. And you also you can see the offspring have a lot of Thongs. So the thong is the feature that not did not show on these guys either. So um, I think that was interesting. Another thing about this group of uh, um, grafting experiment, this is all grafted on trailer's top. The plant is already established, and you can't resist uh, move it to shade area after you're grafting it. So all this one is uh, exposed to um, to sun and rain. And um, before I kind of afraid that the sun will damage the newly grafted scion, so I put some plastic bag over it to keep moisture. And also I put the brown bags over it so to block the sun. But for some reason, those graft seedlings are, they did not really grow. They didn't die right away, but they didn't have any new growth for a very long time. And for this group of grafting, I just leave them out without any bag, plastic bag at all. And this location have five to six hours sunshine every day. And we have high temperatures or almost every day around 90 degree and this one is uh, exposed to that hot sun right after grafting and you can take you can see they taking very well so it doesn't really matter um you have you cover them or not and um, this uh, grafting seedlings uh, love the heat and love the the, the sun so from this experiment, seems like a bagging it, covered it by plastic bag after grafting is not really necessary. Um, that's about it. So this is my second group of uh, crossing experiment. So I'm going to show you the update on this to see if the mother and father switch low position have any effect on the offspring. So that's just a quick update to start this experiment. Thank you for watching.